Hey, so we're back with yet another video. Uh, absolute madness, so many uploads in the last few days. I hope you're enjoying it, because uh, I hope to carry on this trend uh, of uploading more. So, you guys have been asking for this one, and I'm delivering, so this is the first order ADST. I'm not sure why, why you want it so bad, but uh, a lot of you have asked for it, so yeah, here we go. Um, the model you're seeing here is uh, slightly updated from the last time we saw it, which was a long while ago, actually. So, uh, just made it a bit more accurate, just ready for this tutorial. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, the first order ATST is pretty similar. The legs are essentially the same as the uh, standard one, just a little bit changed up in the uh, top section here. Uh, the main body is, is fairly different. It's pretty much an entirely different build. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, not drag this out and let's get straight into it. So, yeah, on to the first section, which will be the, uh, the legs. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to start off with the materials, polished andesite, cyan terracotta, stone brick stair, stone slab, iron trap door, cobblestone wall, anvil, dark oak, fence gate and leather. I'm going to start by putting two uh, cyan blocks down there like that. And then you're going to put an anvil on whichever way is going to be your front. Then do a dark oak fence gate and a lever in front of that. Flip the lever and flip that back. So you should get this. Take a stone slab, put it next to the anvil on both sides. Stair facing inwards on both sides. And then an iron trap door on the back, like that. Okay? Then do an, another anvil there like so, and a stone brick stairs on top of it, so you should get that. Uh, you're going to take stone brick slab, and I'm going to replace the lever. And that's essentially going to go on the top half of that anvil, so just like that. And then cobblestone wall there, one above it. Uh, do a stone brick stair there. And then one, two, and three. And then also another... Uh, stone bricks there is going to go there like that and grab your lever again and you're going to just put that on there and leave it flipped that way so yeah uh, then do one two and three cobblestone walls here and then uh, one two and three and then one there as well so you should get this essentially you're then going to take your stone brick stairs, do a backwards one on that one, like that, and then a forwards one there. And then two stone slabs, one iron trap door, and then another stone slab like that. Then you're going to take a temporary block, and you're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then repeat the uh, same thing what we just did on the other side. Now, normally I do this off camera, but I'm going to do it on camera just because it doesn't take too long. Uh, and you know, we uh, are going to have a pretty short tutorial anyway, so might as well just do this. Uh, need stone brick slab now. That goes there, and there, and there. That lever goes there. And then cyan times two. Grab the anvil. That goes there. Iron trap door on either side. Stair facing inwards, stair facing inwards, slab there, slab there. Uh, anvil, fence gate, lever, flip, back. And that should be everything for that one. Not for this layer, for the uh, legs anyway. Yeah, it looks, looks to be right to me. Uh, so yeah, from there, grab your iron trap doors, do one there and one there along the center line. So it should be a three wide thing. And then behind this temporary line, you're going to do three top half stone brick slabs. And that's going to do it for that section. So let's move on to the uh, next one. Actually, no, it's not. Just a quick iron trap door. It's going to go there and there. I thought it didn't look right. And then a stone brick slab behind it. So you should get that. Uh, once you've done that, though, that is, that is it for that section. So uh, on to the next one. All right, so for this next section, come to the uh, legs here. And you're going to do one stair that way and yet another one just like that. Then do two cobblestone walls. I can throw away the fence gates for now. Those go there, two there like that. Then a stair facing towards those walls. Oops. Like so. And then a chiseled stone brick is going to go here. And then you're going to do a stair normal way up facing that way. Okay. Then do a polished andesite. That's going to go next to that stair there. And then a cobblestone wall is going to go here as well. Then also do uh, two stone slabs at a diagonal like that. Okay. Uh, on this last stone slab here, you're going to do three across with your cyan. And then repeat the same thing what we just did uh, with the stairs and all that on the leg. 
So those go that way. And chilled stone brick there. That faces that way, that's fine. And then to the middle, um, again, just do three stairs facing backwards. And then do a sideways one, one and two. Same again, one and two, like that. And then you're going to do a corner one there and there. So you should get that essentially. Okay, and then you're going to do a uh, chiseled stone brick there, like so. And then take skeleton skull. And you're going to put one there and one there. And then three polished andesite in the middle. Finally, just leave a gap of one and do a top half iron trap door there like that. And once you've done that, that's it for that section. So uh, on to the next layer. So yes. All right, so starting off the next layer, grab your skeleton skull and you're going to just put it facing that way on the, uh, on the stairs like that. Same again there. Grab stairs, do one that way, one facing towards it. Just like that. And then uh, a single stone brick slab and an iron trap door. So you should get that essentially. And that's pretty much it for the legs to be honest. So yeah. Uh, last thing, we just need to finish off these leg joints. Do two slabs there and there. And then also one here and here. Do a cobblestone wall there and there with a cyan in the center. And a cobblestone wall behind it. And then two more cyan. Two stairs on either side facing it. And then do a polished andesite there, stair facing outwards, oops, stair facing outwards, like that. Okay, uh, also just do another cobblestone wall there and there while you're at it. Uh, from there just do a iron trap door there and there like so. Then do polished andesite, one and one. Do a stair facing uh, towards the front and you're going to take an anvil and just put it there with cobblestone walls on either side like that and once you've done that you can delete these temporary blocks here so now you can see the legs are nicely joined up to the body and we can move on to the uh, the next layer so yeah it's not a difficult tutorial at all so pretty simple all right onto the next layer grab your cobblestone walls do one there and one there and then you're going to grab a hopper and you're going to put it on top of that anvil and then in front of the hopper, uh, you're going to put two temporary blocks. And then do fence gates on both of those, like that. And then flip them both. And on the first ones, you're going to take signs. And they're just going to uh, allow that to sort of join up to the ones in front. So essentially like that. Okay, throw that away. Uh, grab your polish on the side, do one there and one there. And then with your grey concrete now, you're just going to do one and two, and then a stair facing backwards on both sides, like that. Then do cyan, one, two, and three. Iron trap door there and there, and then a cobblestone wall in the middle. And then just skip one, and do another three iron trap doors there. And then on this layer, just do three on the bottom. So you should get that. Okay. Uh, next up, I think we could do the next layer here while, while I'm at it. So you're going to do a stone brick stairs, one, two there like that, and then one and two there like so. Two polished andesite in the middle. Then do a stair facing that way and that way with the cyan there like that. And then do a grey concrete, one and two here. Okay, then take your cyan again and you're going to do one uh, outwards like that and also one outwards like that. And then do uh, upside down stairs next to it on either side. Same thing again here. So you should have this. And um, with the cyan, just do another one there and one there. And then three polished on the side there, like so. Uh, on this side here, uh, leave a gap of one, do a top half stone slab, and then two skeleton skulls on either side. So you should have that. Just on that side, by the way, not on the other side. Um, yeah, once you've done that, let's move on to the next layer. All right, so for this next layer, grab your stem brick stairs, do one there and one there, and then polish down the side in the middle. And you can just take your grey concrete, do one there and one there like that. And with your cyan, do one here, one here, and also one there and one there. Okay? Uh, grab your cyan again and just do one here and one here. And then with your polish down the side, you're going to do three and three and then join them at the back. Then with the cobblestone walls, three there and three there, like so. Uh, take your cobblestone wall again, do one here and one here. 
and then you're going to do a uh, dark oak fence gate that's going to go just in this gap here like that okay and then do a cobblestone wall here and while we're at it put another stone slab there and then a skeleton skull on the front and back of it get that out of the way so that's like a missile launcher thing on uh, either side on that side sorry and yet uh, again that's just on that side for now uh, but coming over to this side now so uh, this is the left hand side obviously uh, you're gonna take another cyan here and then a uh, cobblestone wall and then a fence gate is gonna go just there and then you're gonna take your skeleton skull again and you're gonna put that on the back of that one and on the front of that one okay uh, once you've done that that's it for that layer so let's move on to the next section so yeah actually I think we can do it now we can do it now it's fine so three polished on site here and here uh, oh no sorry not there there and there so on top of the cobblestone walls and then three cyan there stair that way cobblestone wall on either side and then a stair facing that way and that way with a cyan in the middle so you should have this circular shape now on the side same thing again here like that and then do a grey concrete there and there and a cyan there and there okay then do a polished andesite polished andesite upside down stone bricks there in the middle okay and once you've done that that's literally it for that layer so um yeah let's move on to the next one alrighty so back for this next layer here we're going to take our uh, grey concrete and you're going to do three there like that and then you're going to take stone brick slabs do three there and then grab a wooden trap door and you're going to do it on the side flip it down same thing you're going to flip it down like that okay then stair is going to go just there like that sorry and there like that on the other side as well two upside down ones here and two upside down ones here then one, two, and then wrap that around with your cyan. Uh, cobblestone wall there, one in the middle, and one there as well, with andesite there and there, like so. And then one, two, and three stairs outwards like that. Okay. And literally, once you've done that, that's going to be it for that layer. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, I think I might be able to do it now, actually. We'll see. Uh, so stair there, stair there that way, and then a stem brick slab in the middle, just like so. And then with your cyan, you're going to do five there, five again, and then one on either side here with a chiseled stem brick in the middle, like that. Then do one, two, and three, cyan, stem brick slab there, stem brick slab there, three stairs here, and then three stone slabs like so. So you can see we've got the majority of the building now, so that's good. Uh, on the back, um, you're going to do a, let's see, Stair facing that way, stair facing that way, and then just wrap those around like so. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a second. So we could fix this in the next layer because I'm not sure that's right. I'll check it uh, when we, we'll do the next bit and then we'll come back to it. Um, but actually, that is it for that layer. So yeah, we'll move on to the next one and just check if that's uh, right or not. So yeah, be right back. Okay, yeah, so uh, <laughs> what happened there? Essentially just switch those out for top half slabs like that. That's fine. And then you're going to do three stairs that way and three stairs that way. And then you're going to do one there, one there, and then two upside down ones like that. Uh, you're going to take light gray carpet and we're going to put it one, two, and three there. Then three iron trap doors, stone slab at one, two three and four like so and then a stone brick one there and there and then an iron trap door here and here very last thing is going to be a rail that's just going to go in there like that and literally that is it that is the uh, first order atst now uh one thing to do with all the star wars walkers um i will be doing a video in the future uh where i well essentially it will probably be a schematic release slash fix sort of video where I essentially um, add leg movements for every single walk that I've done so the uh, AT80 AT already has one I'm gonna quickly show you um, so yeah you can see the brand new leg movements of the AT80 AT, AT look really great so 
yeah, the ATM6 has also had a uh, fair update, so the back legs have been thickened out. The front legs have been thickened a little bit, but also it is walking now as well. So, so yeah, uh, essentially that will most likely just be a, a kind of tutorial. Uh, it won't, it won't be like a in-depth sort of one. I won't be doing block by block, but I will show you the basis of how to uh, move things forward and backwards and stuff to make them in motion. So yeah. Anyway, with that, guys, that was the first order ATST, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'll see you again, and yeah, bye. So I'd like to give a really big shout out to the two patrons of the channel, Josh Harris and Ethan Bryan. So becoming a patron really helps the channel. Uh, the money goes towards new equipment and tools, which both improves my experience as well as your own in terms of video quality. So the links are in the description for that if you want to check it out. So yeah, thanks.